the opportunity to come before you. Um, you know, it's, uh, I'm glad uh, Jorge's here because the last time I was in the Southwest, I was uh, by myself. And, well, I like to be, uh, you know, <laughs> unchallenged. I think it's important to hear from the candidates that are asking for your vote. The question I have is, where's our mayor? You know, I hear all the time that uh, she's got all of these, you know, other engagements and all of these things, but quite frankly, we're running for the highest office in the city of Chula Vista. It is our requirement, it is our responsibility to go out and talk to people about their city. As I said at the Southwest meeting uh, several weeks ago, I don't care whether it's at Lauterbach Park, I don't care if it's in the parking lot or in the park or at the library, if people in Chula Vista want to talk about their city, and I'm asking for their vote, and as their public servant, even when I'm not asking their vote, it's my responsibility to be there. It's just part of doing the job. So we keep talking about, you know, where's the representation? And, you know, I have been walking precincts like I think everybody that's come before you and will come before you uh, even still, and talking to people. And really, people want to know what's going on at City Hall. Because they don't really see a lot of what's going on at City Hall. They don't hear a lot from the mayor. They don't understand what the city's doing in terms of trying to revive its economy, what we're doing to help people that are losing their homes, what we're doing to help mobile home residents, basically, that are, that are, that are strapped and trying to stay in their homes. And, you know, these things are all issues that people really want to hear about. And I have been very, very interested, whether they're Republicans, Independents, or, or Democrats, you know, nobody seems to be satisfied with the mayor's performance. So they ask, well, okay, Steve, what are you gonna do? Why are you different? Why should we believe that you can do a better job than the individual that's there? And essentially, let's talk about why I believe that's the case. It's the case because I don't have a problem coming before the people in Chula Vista. Whether they like me or they don't like me, whether they happen to agree with an issue or not agree with an issue, I will talk to people. I really believe that the mayor, as the only full-time elected official, should be out in the community talking to people and meeting people all the time and talking about issues and understanding what their positions are, understanding what the plight of all the neighborhoods, just not the ones that support me. And so we need to understand that. We need to understand what the people at Chula Vista need now. You know, a lot of you are involved in civic organizations and spend a lot of time, whether it's Southwest, Northwest, Chula Vista Civic, whether it's a mobile home residence, uh, you know, association. Spend a lot of time sitting and, and organizing and talking to folks and basically getting support from your neighborhoods and your communities, trying to affect change. And quite frankly, I've been involved in community groups. When you're trying to go out there and affect change, and basically you get it together, and you get all your signatures, and you go, and you know, you, you, you fall on deaf ears. Or you don't even get a response. You know, I mean, the fact is, is they may not say what you want to hear, but at least they're understanding the issue, and they're willing to talk about it. Let me tell you, I was just out in a community in, um, in, in Otay Ranch uh, on Saturday in front of a group, not, not much smaller than this. And here's a group of people that are fighting for their community because there is a proposal from Sandag to send a bridge right through the middle of their condominium complex. Now, everybody can say, well, it was there and it, should have, it was planned and everything. Their issue is not the same as what we're seeing along, along Colorado. You know, they decided to gather up, they decided to get the signatures, to get all the people, come down to City Hall for several weeks in a row, they came down to City Hall and made public testimony about their concerns. <clears throat> you know, the fundamental difference between myself and my opponent is, is that I went out to that community. I saw firsthand what their issues were. I wanted to make sure they just weren't NIMBYs and that they, you know, that I understood what they were talking about. The mayor, Go talk to Sandag. We have nobody on the Sandag board, on the transportation board, that will make a decision in that regard um, that basically is from Chula Vista. 
So why would the city council member from Santee or the mayor of Poway or you know the, the city council member in Encinitas care about a little community in Chula Vista? So you know what? I went down there with about 40 neighbors and we got basically our day in court and Sandag is now looking at different alternatives because they figured it out. What these people are saying makes sense. But under the way that the mayor basically does her job, you know, all they need to do is wait around for the cement trucks. And quite frankly, their housing values would have gone down, it would have been a big problem. Case in point, the mobile home situation. Right now, there is a big fight between the, there always is a big fight, but right now it seems to be a little bit more acute, between the park owners and the residents about relocation benefits and rent control. And clearly, there are city, at least from what I'm hearing on the dais, there are members of the council that want to get rid of rent control. You know, I have been to these communities. I've been to Brentwood. I was at Jade Bay when they were basically being shut down, those people were being thrown out on the street. I was at Brentwood, and I felt, you know, I mean, there's nothing that really you can compete with, 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 with when, when a senior that barely can speak English can do nothing more than cry and ask for help. And I know, Norma, you were there. You saw that. Because the fact is, is that $10 more a month meant that she was not going to eat as many meals that month. These people have nowhere to go, so they come to City Hall and what do they hear? Well, you know, maybe we need to look at the rent control because, you know, these, these parks are closing down. They're not closing down. The rent control ordinance allows rent increases based on need. And if you're a park owner, all you need to do is demonstrate the need. And by law, you're required to get an increase. Let's talk about redevelopment, because a lot of people have talked about redevelopment. I want to talk specifically about Southwest. Because right now, there is a proposal that's being worked through that would, that would expand the redevelopment areas and the areas in which we get tax increment uh, into the residential areas. Now there's debate whether that means there's expanded, you know, authority for eminent domain, all those kinds of things. You know, the mayor supports it without any details. I said, no, let's, let's figure out what the details are. If you're going to generate all this new money from the people at Chula Vista and essentially put less money into the general fund that pays for parks, libraries, police, and firefighters, tell us what you're going to do with that money. You know, of course we need some of it for economic development, but we also have a lot of streets here in Southwest that need sidewalks. We have kids today that are walking in the street because there's to school, because there's nowhere for them to walk safely. All I want to see is, you know what, if we're going to take more of your money, we're going to tell you exactly what we're going to do with it. And then you can decide whether or not that's the best use of the money. So really, this, this election is about representation. It's about a whole lot of other things, but with respect to what we're talking about tonight, is it because you good people take time out of your day to organize, to, to, to go to City Hall and air your issues and talk about what's important to you, we owe it to you to understand. And again, if we can't, if, you know, if there's a reason that we don't support you, we should at least tell you that. And we should explain why. And in order to do that effectively, we got to show up. So guess what, ladies, ladies and gentlemen? I'm here, I've shown up, and I'd love to hear all your questions. And if you believe I'm the right guy for the job, I got <clears throat> mailers back there, I got lawn signs, I got sign-up sheets, I got all the bells and whistles you need back there. But uh, thank you very much for your time.